what is up friends so you guys have requested a thrift haul video and I am providing you with a thrift haul video last week I went thrifting and I asked you guys if you guys wanted to see a haul video from what I got and you said yes so I'm here doing that for you today. I definitely don't look like I will be filming a haul video. This is just how I was rolling. So uh, I'm just gonna continue to roll like this. So let's roll into it. So half of this stuff is from the thrift store and then the other half is from a consignment store. I usually just put those two together. I will start with the consignment store first. Um, for any of you guys who live here in Oklahoma, we have a consignment store here called Daisy Exchange. It's mainly more on like the OKC metro area, um, but there's a few different ones around and I shop there way, way too much. Recently I've been kind of stocking up on fall clothes, getting ready for fall. I'm so excited. Fall is my favorite time of year. Layering, boots, sweaters, scarves. Oh, I'm so excited. So I went ahead and bought me a few different sweaters at Daisy and this was one of them. I always say I need sweaters, like longer, kind of just fun, simple sweaters, but I never buy any. I don't know why. So I got a few different ones this time. I got this one, which I love. It's a navy and gray striped. It's originally from Forever 21. Next one is just this plain tan one, which I feel like every girl needs, just a plain tan sweater. This sweater is perfect for like the summer to fall transition. It's lightweight, but yet it can be warm, especially if you layer it. So I really love this one. It's originally from Target. Oh, this one, guys. This is one of my favorites. This is kind of a taupish color, I guess you could say. Um, but it's originally from American Eagle, and it's a knitted sweater. And then on the sides, I love this part. On the sides, it kind of like splits like this. But then on the front right here, it has pockets. I don't know. It's just, it's a really fun, cute sweater. I can't wait to wear it. For this next one, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I feel like I'm always promoting my Instagram. But hey, you can always go follow me on there because I post... Well, sometimes I post the typical girl selfie, so that could get boring. But then I post lots of cute outfits, and this was part of the one from yesterday, and I love the sweater. It's originally from the brand Staccato, which I don't know that brand, um, but it's just this fun gray sweater, and at the end it has this plaid, like flowy plaid shirt part under it. Oh, I love it, guys. It was so cheap, too. It's my favorite part about it. And then for my last sweater, which I also wore last night, um, was this sweater from Gap. It's like a little pullover sweater. One thing I don't like is it kind of, um, I don't know, it piles, is that the word you call? Where you can like, it kind of, the knitted sweater little stuff kind of will come off and like get in little clumps. Um, but they don't like shed that much, like you really have to pull them off, so that's nice that it doesn't like, it's always falling off or anything. Um, but I guess that can be annoying, but it didn't bother me that much. But I love just like the buttons up top and it has a little hood in the back so yeah it's really soft so those are all my sweaters from the consignment store the sweaters weren't just enough for me so I had to buy more this is one of my favorite yet random things I feel like I've ever bought it's just this black long sleeve shirt but yet on the sleeves it has fringe like all the way down and then on the back too it has a little part where it kind of like is fringy in the back I don't know why, but I really like it. It's just really soft and comfy, so I can't wait to wear this. Haven't worn it yet, but for this fall, I'm already thinking of some really cute outfits in mind. And then I bought a few dresses because I always think I need dresses, but I never really wear dresses. But I loved this dress. I thought it was so cute. It's this maroon red color and it has all this lacy detail. And then it kind of comes out a little bit at the bottom. Oh, I just thought it was so cute. I haven't worn it yet, but I'm thinking with a jean jacket or like one of my sweaters and then some cowboy boots. This will be looking really cute. So if you follow me on Instagram, keep an eye out. I guarantee you this will be in a OOTD for sure. Then I bought two more dresses, cause why not? It's fall time, so I really wanted like some really cute and comfy long sleeve dresses. So I bought this olive green one, which first of all, I used to hate the color olive green. Don't know why I just did, but it's so in right now and now I love it. So I got this one, it's a long sleeve and then it's kind of just flowy at the bottom. I feel like it looks kind of short when I hold it up. But it's longer than what it looks like. But I think it'll be so cute with like some tights or leg warmers and boots or something, I don't know. I can't wait. It's so comfy too, guys. So comfy. And they had them in multiple colors, so I also just got a black one. Black is really simple, but yet you can also always make it like really fun by pairing it with like other fun layers and colors. So I'm excited for that too. I kind of want to go back and get a red one and a navy one and a tan one. 
Don't need all of those though. Don't need all of those. But I might do it. Okay, and then lastly from the consignment store, I got just a pair of skinny jeans. I've been in need of a dark pair of skinny jeans. I had a really cheap pair from Forever 21. Don't get me wrong, I love Forever 21, but sometimes their 790 jeans don't last me that long. So I got a new pair and they're from the brand Bullhead, which you usually get at PacSun. Um, and I love these. They're so comfy. They're tight but stretchy, so I love that. Um, and I also wore these in my OOTD yesterday. So, yes, I love them. Thank you, Daisy Exchange, for all the cute things. You never let me down. Okay, and now that we've done all those, let's move on to the thrift store. So I usually find cute things at the thrift store, but I also tend to buy just like plain things like random t-shirts or tank tops um, or like plain sweaters, which is what most of these are, but yet they're really comfy and I can dress some of them up like if I really want to. So they're not like really cute, amazing finds that I got at the thrift store, but yet I loved them enough to get them because I have things in mind with them. So if you're like, Adair, that's boring. Just, I mean, I have an idea, okay? I got an idea. First things first, one t-shirt I always wanted was just one of those baseball tees, like the three-quarter length kind of tees. So uh, I got one of those, just a gray with black, so I really liked it. I tried it on too and I was like, yes, yes, I just want this. And I've been trying to find a good one and all of them are either like way too tight or way too big and this one fits perfect, so I was really excited about that. Another couple just simple things that I got from this thrift store was this plain kind of navy gray t-shirt. It's from Gap, which I don't know why, but I find so many things from Gap at the thrift store. I have tons of t-shirts that are guy t-shirts. This is a guy t-shirt. Um, and they're all from Gap from the thrift store. And I don't know why they have so many Gap ones at the thrift store, but they do. They're my favorite. I know it's weird I'm smelling it. It's been washed, but it's okay. It smells really good. Secret time. I'm obsessed with wearing guys' t-shirts. Either if a guy gives them to me, which usually doesn't Happen. Or if I just go buy guy t-shirts and the best ones are always from the thrift store because they're a little worn But yet you can find really nice ones. So guy t-shirts. They're the way to go If you want some really good ones go to the thrift store. They have perfect guy t-shirts This was another one that I really liked and it's just a blue and gray striped adidas tank top This would be perfect for working out. I probably won't wear this a whole lot until next summer uh, But I really liked it and I need more tanks. So there we go So this next one is actually one of my favorite finds that I got at the thrift store and it is this Nike uh, Pro Combat shirt. It's a guy's extra large, but it's a fitted one, so it's not as big. Um, but it's a little long, but it's perfect with leggings, or I can like kind of like roll it and tie it up a little bit, which I actually did the other day. But it's so cute and so soft, and I just love the colors, so couldn't pass this one up. I had to get this one. Okay, this shirt I feel like might look weird when you see it, but if you try it on, it's actually really cute. You wear it with like maybe some leggings or darker jeans and maybe some cowboy boots. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Okay, and then the last few things that I got from the thrift store are just sweatshirts or sweaters, um, which I always need, right? You can never have too many sweaters or sweatshirts, but you really can, and I do, but that's okay. So I just got this plain gray little like zip up sweatshirt ho hoodie. Um, it never hurts to have just like a simple, plain, lightweight, little zip up hoodie. I have a black one and a white one and now I found a gray one so now I'm just set. I got all my neutrals and I'm good. Next I found this OU sweatshirt. I'm excited about this. It's just really comfy. Guys, buying sweatshirts at the thrift store tend to be my favorite sweatshirts because they're especially like a little bit oversized, you know, kind of big sweatshirts, pretty comfy, already worn. I love it. I love already worn clothes. If you just go wash it, it's fine, well, most of the time. But these usually tend to be pretty all right, and you can always wash it, and it's fine. So yeah, I really like the sweatshirt. I've already worn it, and it's comfy. Could never have too many OU things. Fact. Truth. What is what the word I was looking for right there? And last but not least, I just got myself this plain gray oversized sweater. I needed just a plain gray, kind of bigger one, because I have some cream ones, um, but gray is like my favorite color to wear, so it was time for me to get a gray one. Um, so yeah, this one is from the brand St. John's Bay, which is a pretty nice um, brand, so I was excited that I found this one. I can't wait to wear it. Guys, you have no idea how excited I am for fall, except you probably can't tell because I've said how excited I am for fall a million times. 
So that is it for my thrift and consignment store haul. Sorry this ended up being longer than I wanted it to be. I wish I could just go through so quick, but you know me, I gotta talk a lot just like I'm doing right now. But I wanna know though, wherever you guys live, comment below and tell me if there is a consignment store that you guys go to and what it's called. Cause there's so many different ones out there and who knows, I might travel to where you live one day and I might be in need of some consignment shopping. So I might have to go check it out. So comment below and tell me, well, I guess first tell me if you even like consignment and thrift store shopping. Cause some people, they don't do that. They just don't do that. For those of you who like it, comment below and tell me um, where you guys like to go thrift or consignment shopping at. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and for requesting this video. I always love to do hauls. If you guys like this video, you should like it and then maybe you should share it because sharing is caring. And then you can subscribe because I want to be besties with you. Pound it. Da -da 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 -da. I do that so many times. I love Big Hero 6. I'm gonna go. I'm talking so fast. Stay neat guys and have a super great week and I'll see you later. Bye!